Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a printer sharing error and that the printer settings could not be saved. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Type in Control Panel. Select Control Panel listed right above App. So again, go ahead and just select that. Set the view by to category view, and then select networking internet. Select where it says network and sharing center, go ahead and just select that. Select change advanced sharing settings on the left side. And now for network discovery, you want to go expand the private section up at the top. You want to make sure network discovery is turned on as well as turn on automatic setup of network connected devices. So that's very important. And then also make sure turn on file and printer sharing is turned on for the private networks here as well. Same thing for guests or public. Go make sure they are turned on. A little more optional than the first one with the private settings, but for guests or public, you may want to consider that one as well. And then for all networks, you want to go make sure use 128-bit encryption is enabled. And if you scroll down here, you want to set turn off password protected sharing. And once that is done, you want to go ahead and just select OK. Or save changes, I should say. And once that's done, you can close out of here. Now you want to open up the start menu, type in services. Best match to go back with services listed directly above app. So go ahead and left click on that. Okay, so now you want to locate a server. The server service right here. Go ahead and double click on that. Now what you want to do here is make sure startup type is set to automatic. And if it's stopped, the service status is stopped, you want to start it and then select apply and OK. And once you're done with that, close out of here. Go ahead and check for any updates you may have pending on your Windows update settings as well. And then once you've done that, also go ahead and open up the start menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select additional troubleshooters on the right panel. And then select printer, find and fix problems with printing. And then select run the troubleshooter. Give it a moment here to do its thing. And we're just going to be patient. And then it might ask you what printer you want to troubleshoot. Go ahead and select it and then select next. It might say no printer. Just go ahead and follow along with whatever is applicable in your situation here. And once that's done, go ahead and close it here. We'll suggest restarting your computer as well as restarting your printer and hopefully your issue will have been resolved at that point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.